What does NATO stand for? N-A-T-O. North American... Atlantic. North Atlantic... Terrorist. Organisation. That's about right. We're going to talk about an old friend of ours today. Well, he's not, not that old. He's not that old. He's a good lad. He's quite creative. And uh, he actually thought Donald Trump was legit. <laughs> Hi Daniel, Dan Bostock. You'll find his channels, although he's moved on to other things because he does these crazy parodies of crazy things, which are really quite funny. Standing on the rooftop, shoving off, you know, that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was funny that anyway, one. Anyway, uh, YouTube sent me a video the other day, and it was just like a minute long, and Dan is there with a t-shirt on the grass in his back garden. Didn't you want to have that song? Can you pass it? This one's you for you, Danny boy. Yeah? He thought Trump was legit. Let's make America great again. Wasn't America great before? Yeah. What I does know. great mean? Grande. Doesn't matter. Big? Anyway, Dan, he gets his lighter and sets a light to his Donald Trump t shirt. And what his Donald Trump t shirt said across the He's got it well he had ears like Oh we burn the hairs off his <laughs> arm. You can't see it here because I've got my skin coloured. And, um, so you're coloured then? Yes. And in two previous lives, I was female and black and Chinese. So how, how could I be racist or sexist? Anyway, Dan Bostock, he gets the lighter and he's, he's got his camera out like this and he goes... He yeah, yeah, but, but before you get to that point, why is he burning the shirt? Well, I think he's just realised the shirt actually said, finally, somebody with bollocks. Or bumberclarts, if you like. Seeing as we're on a Windrush mission, I wonder who destroyed those landing cards, those Ras Club blood clots, them bumper cleats. We'll get back to that. So, yeah, he goes poof like this, and he goes, Oh, bloody hell. And he shows us his arm like he did, and all his, the hairs on his arms had been singed. And he said, What did he say? He says, I think I put a lot, there was a lot of gas on that. But yeah, Dan has finally realised that this bloke hasn't got any gonads, testicles. He's no different from Bomber the rest. Bomber between his legs because he's actually... Well, the, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia came there, didn't he? Yeah. What did he say about that? What was that situation? Um, he sold him a load of weapons. Yeah, he, what did he say to the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia? He said, this is going to cost you 350 million. Billion? You want all, billion. That's he just, says, you want all these bombs? And that's just a drop in the ocean to you, That was it? it, that's just a drop in the ocean. And the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia went... <laughs> yeah. And that's why they're fighting so hard to stop uh, cars from being able to run on water, which they can. Mine got destroyed. We had a car that ran on water. Somebody destroyed it. <laughs> Oliver, I need to come up and see you. Anyway, we were talking about... We are talking about Dan Bostock and uh, setting a light to his Donald Trump t-shirt. So, yeah, Gan, uh, Dan, Gan, again, Dan, I think you realise that really he's, he's, he's a puppet. And he hasn't got any bumber clots. He hasn't got any bumber clots between his legs. And actually, it, it proves in plain sight that they're just liars and that they work for weapons manufacturers. It probably works for NATO. For as whoever well. gives the most profit. Yeah. NATO. Peace be upon him. <laughs> North Atlantic terrorist organization. organization. May Jah have mercy upon your soul. Rastafari. Oh, by the way, speaking of bombs, what does the church invest in? Bombs. And? Drugs. Oil. Yes. Murder. Yeah. Child trafficking. Well, it's called God, isn't it? Guns, oil and drugs. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, finally, there's, a, there's a, a bell or a light come on. Yeah, the church invests in God. Guns, oil and drugs. I've got some, uh, as to, as I've to got the some councils. Notes. Oh, exactly. Hey, should we send Theresa May, Donald Trump and Emmanuel Macron to Syria? Yes. Definitely. They're so... They care so much about our kids and those poor children that are dying in the Mediterranean. And you know, there's a, you know who's over there at the moment? The SAS. Ooh. Remember last time the SAS was involved? You know, like, when we were having troubles with the island, 
turned out the SAS, and in uh, Iraq actually, turned out the SAS were getting dressed back, dressed up in the masks and all that sort of thing and causing trouble until they got caught. So the SAS is actually trying to cause the trouble and I would imagine they're doing a, pretty much the same thing. Special Air Services. Yeah, they could have sent the SAS into Duma mm. to see if there'd been any chemicals. They could have put these Teletubby outfits on, couldn't they? The yes, but paper if, if nobody uniforms. around that area needed to wear anything because there was nothing that happened. There was no chemical attacks. Assad even said, after Boris Johnson sold him all those chemicals, that he got rid of them years ago. Anyway, we've gone over that. There's one thing we haven't spoken about. Do you know what that is? Israel shootings. There's all those Israel people, Israeli people, sorry, Palestinian people, taunting the um, Israeli soldiers, and they're actually killing them. The Israeli soldiers mm. are like snipers, killing them. But those people still sense them stunned there. Do you think you've heard anything about the UN? At this at the UN? No. No. Not a word. You're not, you're not allowed you're not, to talk about the Palestinians. How can, how can and, you not allowed to speak about the Jews or the and Palestinians the fact or the Israelis? The Israelis invaded Palestine and are trying to get rid of the Palestinians and claim that land for theirs. And I've already said what we need to do is all the Israelis put together somewhere in the middle of Africa, somewhere where nobody lives, stick them there. They can get off on with their life there, and the Palestinians can have their land back. Yippee! Yippee!